Could it really be that bad? Hello everybody, I'm Miss Manman. Welcome to my channel. Sometime last year, I purchased a vintage prom dress off eBay, knowing full well that it wasn't vintage, just to see what arrived. It was a bit of consumer science, and I asked people to recommend other places that I should look for vintage, which clearly won't be real vintage. So here we are today. Today we are shopping at AliExpress. So I was doing the scribbly scrolly and I found this vintage image. This is the <clears throat> Runway New Fashion High Quality 2019 Summer Party Workplace Sexy Jacket Grey Pencil Half Skirt Vintage Elegant Chic Women's Set. I was drawn to this ad through this vintage image which we will discuss a little bit later on. But the suit itself retails for about $45 American and came in sizes large up to an extra small. I had a look at their sizing chart and realized that I would be a large, so that is the size I got. I ordered the suit around the 13th of May and it arrived at the very end of June. Obviously this is all last year because, you know, we're living in the future. Right, so what did we actually get? So the suit is a ladies inspired sort of 1940s, 1950s power suit. It comes with the jacket and the skirt. Let's start with the skirt. The skirt fit really well and I would happily wear it again on its own in the future. It was perfect on the waist and around my butt, but it wasn't overly tight. I'm okay with the length, it reached my knees. I personally would have preferred it to go past my knees as I find that more of a classic 1940s sort of style. In comparison to the true vintage image, the skirt itself is quite short. She does have an invisible zipper down the back and she is lined, which is great. The fabric itself feels really nice. I like the feel of it. I love the color of it. I love me a good gray suit. And now let's look at the jacket. This is the jacket that we received. First inspection, it seems fine. You know, it's not that bad. She's got quite a collar, not exactly 1940s-esque, but there's no label, which is interesting. The jacket itself is fully lined. It comes with some very interesting buttons. They're not vintage, or I would even guess say vintage inspired. They are plastic, which is a bit of a letdown. I'm not sure what went wrong with the sizing, but it is absolutely massive. I think I would have gone down at least two sizes. It was so large and baggy, especially around the waist. I really wasn't a fan of how the underarms were fitted. They are way too large, even though I looked at the sizing chart for quite some time, and they really should have fit the perfect size large. In the 40s, especially when suits of this sort of style were coming out, and in the 50s, fit was everything. The way it fit and laid across the body is what gave women that beautiful silhouette and that sense of powerful oomph. And I just felt a powerful ugh when I wore it. Another thing about the fabric that I found was it is really difficult to get the wrinkles out. It took me so long to steam it. I don't have an iron. I could not get all the wrinkles out. And even just wearing it, I could feel it wrinkling on my body and just, no, not a fan, not a fan. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I knew that by buying a vintage piece from AliExpress that I would not be receiving what is in the image. That is a given and, you know, I'm not shocked, but I'm just still a little bit left out. It could have been a really good replica, it's definitely a loose inspiration. I also found out where the original vintage image came from. The one that you see on AliExpress is a copy of this image. The original image was taken in August 1953 by Kurt Hutton. 
and it depicts a lovely vintage model wearing a beautiful suit outside the Christian Dior shop. Looking at the AliExpress image, there is clearly a watermark that's been removed. I don't know what that watermark is, but you can definitely see that the Christian Dior sign has also been removed. And that is round two of buying fake vintage online. I have been requested to go through Wish, so I think that will be my next stop. If you are on Wish anytime soon, and as you're scrolling, you notice a true vintage image, which is used to sell a garment, please send me the link. I am looking to continue this and maybe sort of see if we can find any hidden gems. But as always, if you would like to read the full blog, it'll be linked in the description box below. But that is all I have time for you today. If you like to and you're not already, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and become a part of my lovely little slice of the internet. I have also linked all my social medias down below. I would love to have you along for my own adventures of vintage glamour and tomfoolery. I will see you guys all next week, but until then, be kind, be true, be you, and have a wonderful week. Bye! Fun quick side tangent story. I got a ping on my phone from Aliexpress who have never pinged my phone before saying, Mon Mon, we have an item that you will love. We know you'll love it. And they recommended this.